and welcome to Stars of Your Travel. So, um, before I get a chance to edit the vlogs, I thought I would just show you some of the merchandise I got in Poland and the prices of things, because I know that's a main factor when people want to go away somewhere, they want to know how much things are going to cost. So I thought I'd show you all of the merchandise that I got, show you the prices so you get a rough idea of how much merch costs in the parks. Obviously there's other things that you need to consider, but I'll talk about that in a minute once I've shown you some of the merch that I got. Okay, so my first purchase was in Energylandia. I got a Zadra printout photo, which also comes with a QR code. I know I look rubbish, but it's my first ride in it, so I thought I've got to do that. As well as then a magnet for a later ride on it. At this point, it was pretty much walk-on, so like they had the pictures, they were just rolling through the ones that actually had people in. So for both of them, that was 34 PLN, which is basically, for all of the costs, if you divide it by 10 and times it by 2, that's pretty much how much it is in pounds. So about £7 for two photos, one of them being one like that, I think is pretty darn good, to be honest. Uh, the second thing, also from the Zadra shop, was this brilliant t-shirt. A little bit screwing up, but things have been because they've been in my bag. Like, I think it's really cool. You've got like, the dragon coming out of it and you see a bit of the coaster. It's really nice, actually. Decent quality shirt as well. Comfortable to wear. Um, good sizes. So that one was 45. It's Lotta. Also, while I was in there, I got some um, Nurofen because I felt really horrible. And then other things that I've bought at Energyland yet. In the Hyperion shop, once my opinion on it changed, which you'll see in the vlogs, I got a t-shirt for, for uh, 55 Zlotter, so about £10, just slightly over. There was a, a different one that was a little bit more, so I just decided to go for that one because I was between the two and I really liked both, so I just got the one that was slightly cheaper. The magnet, which I don't have the receipt for this one, but this was 10 Zlotter, so... Basically about two pounds, but it's quite nice. The wristband, I'm not too sure on the actual price of, to be honest, of this. Because I've lost the receipt from the shop. And I have worn it, so it doesn't have the price on there anymore. But a nice little Hyperion wristband, it says Landia on it as well. I do like ride wristbands when I can get them, because you can't really get them everywhere. There's a nice Hyperion mug. Now, unfortunately, I didn't fancy the Zadra mug, so I didn't think that much of them. But this, as you can see, was 35 Zlotter. So, again, about £7. Not overly expensive. Not necessarily as cheap as some people would think it would be. But it's a really nice quality mug. It looks really nice. Like it says Energylandia on the inside of it. It's got roller coaster on the back, stars all over it, a nice spaceman. It's I think it's really nice. You can feel from the make of it like the the feel of it. It's not like crap. It's quite quite sturdy. Also got a photograph. So just a normal printout photograph was 15 PLN. So again that's about three pounds, so not very expensive really for a printout. Plus comes with a digital QR code. This is once I obviously warmed up to the ride a little bit. It's got a bit of facts about the ride, etc. on the inside. But it's not like a booklet like the ones you get at Towers, but it's still quite nice. Nicely presented. Now, in general, merchandise around. So I've got a few more magnets. So these are all 10 each. So in other words, about £2 each. So there's a nice one there for speed water coaster. Unfortunately, I couldn't see one with much of the roller coaster on it. You can see a little bit of sort of like a track thing on there, but it is kind of like weird because the boat design isn't really piratey. So, yeah, but it looks nice and I know what it's for. So that's the main thing. A nice energy landier sort of um, silhouette one. I think I have one like this for Efteling as well. I quite like it. So I thought that was quite nice to get although unfortunately you can't see Zadra in it it's obviously an old design they've not updated it yet formula 
again, I thought this one was really nice. I think this is the first of the ones that I decided, yeah, I'm having that because it just it looks so cool. And I do really like the ride. So those were all ten lottery each, which is really not a lot. Got a Energy Landia badge. They did have pin badges as well, but I just didn't fancy them. Whereas this was, I think, four. Yeah, it was four Zlotter. So that's about 80p. So that's not too bad. Now, these bands, these are all five Zlotter everywhere. So again, it's just about a pound. Snap bands. Quite like them. So I've got one for the Dragon RMT. Got one for the speed water coaster. They all say Energy Landia in some way, shape, or form. Some of them got logo quite clear like that. Some of it has got the colour logo. It just depends on on which ride it's for, depending on how they've done the logo. A Hyperion one as well. I suppose I should have put that in the Hyperion pile, but I didn't. Oh, I know the focus has got a bit funny, but it says Hyperion. There we go. It was in focus for about 30 seconds. Whatever, you get the idea. It's nice either way. There you go, there you can see it. And also one for free because this is the first one I come across and I do like snap bands, so I got it. Not that it's particularly an amazing ride, but I just like the fact it said Energy Landia on it and I like snap bands. I just sit and play with them, to be honest. Okay, now, other things that I got was a shot glass, which again, you probably can't see the design on it very clearly, but it does say Energy Landia, and it's got the nice little logo on there, but it's sort of, it's not colour or anything, so I know it's probably quite difficult to see on the video, so apologies for that, but it looks nice in reality. And this one was 13 Zlotter. So again, you work that out price-wise. Basically divide it by 10 times by 2. It's so about £2.60, roughly. I mean, obviously these are rough things, and it depends on the exchange rate of the day, but I worked it out that 5 Zlotter was about a pound. So pretty much that. Um, these, I think, were 4 each. These ones, and they're actually quite nice. I've been wearing these pretty much the whole week since I got them. Um, again, I'm about 80p, so they're not, not expensive, but I really like them. I've been wearing them to death. I'm guessing the Hyperion one wasn't that much more expensive than that. Uh, then I've got the Energy Landia Generalized T-shirt. They did have a few different designs, but I think this is the best one by far. The other one was sort of like a heart made out of the roller coaster names on it. Uh, and the t shirt was 50 Zlotter, so about £10. For, for theme park merchandise, I think it's really cheap. Now, when it comes to Legend here, oh, food as well. Food in the park to give you an idea. So, Energy Land here. Uh, some churros was 12 Zlotter, so about three pounds, if that, not even that. Seven up, six Zlotter, so about one pound ten. It's really not expensive. Uh, something else I had, I'm trying to work out what it is. Again, seven up, six Zlotter, so it's pretty much standard price all over the park. If you want a bottle of drink, six Zlotter is how much it costs at the moment, at the time of recording. Um... It's like pizza thing that they did near Zadra. The Energy Landia one was the most expensive one out of them because it had loads of different meats on it. And that was still only 14 PLN. So, again, about £3 for a nice meal. It was actually really, really tasty. I highly recommend that place to get food. I did have chicken there one night as well, but I think I did away with that receipt um, at the place nearby there. Uh, just idea of the bus prices that was from the airport to the city 340s lot which really isn't a lot I don't know if I was meant to get a 50 minute ticket but I got a 20 minute one and no one questioned it so whatever 
Now for energy, uh, for sorry, legend here, it was 99 Zotter to get in on the door. You can get it cheaper online, but you need to get a go pass, um, which costs 10 Zotter, but it is still works out about 10 Zotter cheaper. But I thought for the difference, I might as well just get it on the day. Plus then if my plans change for any reason, then I wouldn't have a ticket that would go to waste essentially. Then there was the, ooh, focus. Sorry guys, this focus is uh, being a real pain in my butt. Well, I'll, I'll read it to you. So the Let Coaster um, t-shirt was 39 Zlotter, which I think is really cool. It's got life crossed out and changed it to Let is a roller coaster. They did have a, a fairly plain one with various different colours of the ride logo as well. But I much preferred this one. But 39 is a lot. Of, again, about 7 to £8, pounds, so really not that expensive. Printout pictures was 15 is a lot of each, so I got one on Diamond River. I ran into some guys from uh, Coasters World France, so I thought, well, I've got to get one picture with that dude who runs that so that was one of the rides that we rode together at one point and earlier on in the day before I met those guys um oh it's 15 sort of 50 for this one for the let coaster one which obviously the extra 50 that's more like an extra 5p <laughs> which was that which was my first ride on it just because I thought yeah I've got to commemorate that ride because it was awesome again it's fairly nice artwork in there. It's actually like quite a shiny nice cover as well, which it isn't quite as as much as the artwork's nice. The, the cover isn't quite as nice on the Energy Landia ones compared to the Legendia ones. And then finally, the last thing I got from Legendia was a mug. I'm just Oh no, two more things in fact. The mug was, I think the mug was 20, no, the mug was 17 Zlotter. Which, again, about three quid for a mug. It was really nice. Decent quality, not quite as good quality, I think, as the ones from Energy Landia. Oh, that's the point, I didn't even mention the Halloween mug from Energy Landia. They did have other Halloween t-shirts and that, which was really cool, but it was just a case of I was running out of money at that point. But uh, their mug was 40s lotter. So, about £8 compared to about £3. And the final thing I got from there was this nice Le coaster hat. And this was... 29's lotter so a little bit more expensive but about five are still so that's not too bad i really like that hat actually logo is really nice clear on it i think the logo is a little bit clearer than that than it is on the mug it's netted at the back so it's not necessarily like the best for keeping off heat but it did its job and guarded against the sun and i really thought the color was really nice so Hence, I got that. Now, when it comes to costs of travelling around in Poland, um, as I said, like the the twenty minute thing from the airport was free is like a faulty, which really isn't particularly expensive at all. It is more expensive if you want to try and get the train by a fair measure, but not not what you would call UK transport costs. Put it that way. Um, when it comes to cabs, if I was to get a cab back from Krakow to, uh, back to Krakow rather from Energy Landia, because I did look at it one night just in case I couldn't get on the bus, um, which I'll explain more of that in the actual main vlogs, the, it was suggesting, I think it was about 160 or something PLN, so about 32, 33 quid, so I was like, well, that's a bit more expensive than I would like to be spending but when it was just sort of within Krakow City, so I got the cab back from the train station, I think it cost me about 12 a lot, which, of course, then you're getting the foreign transaction fee, but 
when you're working it out as it's about three quid and then your foreign transaction fee is about two pounds in the uk that's the standard call out cost for uber anyway is five pounds is the bare minimum so basically it cost me nothing extra so i thought that was all right um my flights and that were quite expensive, but I did book extremely last minute. I literally booked Sunday to fly Wednesday. So <laughs> um, if you book further in advance and particularly times of year that it's not quite so busy. For example, I obviously went in October half term because I'm a teacher, so I couldn't go at other times. Um, so that was more expensive than it would be usually if you actually plan things ahead. I was just sort of like, a, I need to do something cool during half term, so I decided to. Um, the hostel that I stayed in, Lorf Hostel, really enjoyed it there, actually. Um, I mean, as d the area looked kind of dingy, but it wasn't that far away from the old town, which was really nice. And obviously it was cheaper than actually staying in the old town, and quieter as well. I like being out the way from the main centre, so you can actually get a bit of sleep at night. Um, and it was very comfortable there. It was about forty pounds for the four nights, um, which obviously I paid for the four. Although I didn't stay there each time, I got a four-star hotel in Catawissa one of the nights. That was for six pounds in total. But it's not that it actually cost six pounds. It's that I had a little hot life hack of I had some Expedia points that were about fifteen pounds worth, and the parking Radisson. Um, in Catawice, they're like partner with Expedia VIP thing, so the points was worth double. So it was meant to be thirty six for the night, but because my Expedia points went towards it, it only cost me six pounds, and the points were worth double. So yay! So that was nice and cheap. The bus to and from Energy Land yeah, again, you must book this in advance if you want to get on it. Was equivalent of about seven pounds return, which again it's nothing when you're doing like an hour's drive because it quite literally is an hour or more between it uh and to get over to Katowice from Krakow the bus I think was 14 PLN so about three pounds again hours drive it's 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 nothing like it's it's pretty cheap out there in general to eat and for, for just things in general so if you ever fancy going to Poland, now you've got an idea of prices, hit me up if you find some like massive deal or whatever on hotels or hostels or wherever you're staying at. Let me know um, if you have worked out any hacks to make it cheaper or if you decided to splash the cash and, and get a nice hotel because it's nice and cheap out there anyway. Like, Let us know in the comments. Let me know if this has been helpful in any way, shape or form or... If there's anything particular you'd like to know about the trip. Thank you for watching Stars of Your Travels. Make sure you like, subscribe, share and all that malarkey on YouTube and on Facebook. I am on Facebook as well. To be fair, most of you are probably watching it off Facebook and haven't actually gone to my video to go and subscribe on YouTube. Why? Like, get on that. Come on, I need subscribers. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to myself most of the time. I know there's like four or five of you who regularly watch. So, hi Henry. Um, and hi to the Dutch guy whose name I can't remember, and hi to the other Dutch guy who comments sometimes, and one or two other people whose names are currently escaping me, but you guys rule. <laughs> Everyone else on my friend list, come on. Well, I'm only doing it mostly for a laugh, but it is nice to like know that someone out there is watching and that I'm useful for something. <laughs> um, but anyway, I hope you're enjoying the videos. The vlogs will be coming at some point for Energy Landia and for Legendia. I'm hoping sooner rather than later, but I have, I've got so much stuff to edit. And as I say, I'm a teacher. I'm very, very busy. It's been a very, very busy term. So hence why I've been even slower than usual in certain things. But keep watching, keep liking, keep subscribing. And take care and goodbye.